Hello children, today we are going to start the first lesson of your geography book, that's the solar system. From this lesson, we are going to learn about the composition of the solar system, what are the mites and beliefs are connected with the solar system, and what are the new technology about the solar system. Especially, we are going to learn about this planet Earth we live. Okay, so let's go to the lesson to learn more about this solar system. This is the solar system and Putala, the objective of this the objective of this unit is to study the composition, how it made out of and the functions of the solar system, the duty of the solar system. Okay, have you carefully observed the sun, the moon and the other celestial bodies in the sky? Have you observed them? There is evidence that man had shown an interest in knowing about them since ancient times. At present, man can explore more than what is visible to the naked eye as scientists have invented modern equipment to observe the sky. Our ancient people put it, okay, uh, so especially Australopithecus and likewise those kind of our ancient animals, okay, human beings. So we used to observe the sun and moon and we used to give directions and the predictions especially using sun and moon okay nowadays but nowadays we have uh, improved and invented lot of modern equipments to observe the sun and the moon so it has been discovered that there are eight planets shapeless pieces of planets called asteroids there are shapeless particles are there and the various celestial bodies <coughs> such as group of planets and natural satellites revolving around the sun so not only the planets are there not only the stars there are various kinds of asteroids celestial bodies especially two planets natural satellites so all are revolving around the sun so putala we can say the sun is the main body of the solar system just like he is the leader of the solar system when all these things are taken together we consider it as a system all everything to taken together it considered as a system it is called this is called the solar system it is believed that the solar system has been formed 4600 million years ago by combining dust particles and gases together if i ask a question from you write the composition of the solar system then you have to write here composition how it made out of how it composed by combining dust particles and gases together it made the solar system when we observe the night sky with our naked eye we can see multitude of the stars stars are celestial bodies that emit light and heat but they just as a as a child you have to go outside at night and just observe the sky then you can see a lot of things at night time okay so here when you observe the night sky with our naked eye so you can see multitude of stars so these stars are celestial bodies putala so that emit light and heat twinkle twinkle little star now here they are twinkle in the night sky thus they are sources of energy but they are sources of energy they can be seen shining or twinkling in the night sky okay and here we mention the sun is the star that emits light and heat sun also a star but it emits light and heat however the other celestial bodies such as planets natural satellites and asteroids do they do not emit light are visible in the night sky as they reflect the sunlight here putala however the other celestial bodies are there no? just like planets natural satellites and asteroids though they do not emit light they do not emit light like stars they are visible in the night sky we can see them at night sky as they reflect the sunlight they have the just like a monotonous light they reflect the sunlight they are seen with the monotonous light that does not twinkle 
okay so here putala just i am asking a question we can learn more over uh, later but here natural satellite what is our natural satellite our natural satellite is our moon there are some other planets we have only one natural satellite even though we have one only one natural satellite there are other planets in the solar system they have lot of natural satellites belongs to them okay observe the clouds less clearly visible night sky and get the above information confirm okay just you go today today itself you go outside at night and observe the sky there are various things you can see still i am going outside to observe the sky it's really beautiful there are various things colorful especially um, night night actually beautiful things we can see at night <laughs> now we are going to learn the composition of the solar system how it composed let's go to the lesson the sun and the other celestial bodies which are bound by the gravitational force of the sun because of the solar system the sun and the other celestial bodies which are bound by the gravitational force of the sun belongs to the solar system now here as i said you already the sun lies at the middle of the solar system he is the leader of the solar system he is the main body of the solar system now here now these celestial bodies are there no putte those are bound by the gravitational force of the sun he is just like the father or mother at your home like they are bearing you likewise the sun is holding all the planets all the parts of the solar system by its gravitational force okay like the celestial bodies found in the solar system are listed below the sun the main body of the solar system okay we know about that planets the largest celestial bodies the largest celestial bodies are the planets small planets are there or we are calling them as dwarf planets natural satellites of the planets like our moon millions of rock particles so the base asteroids comets meteoroids okay look at this picture there are sun mercury venus earth mars and here you can see asteroid belt okay after the asteroid belt you can see jupiter saturn comet comet is just a particle not a planet and uranus neptune okay now we are we are going to learn about the sun the sun is the main source that provides energy for the existence of life on earth can we just imagine a day, day without sun no no so here it's the main source of energy okay we can't survive without the sun the sun lies at the center of the solar system a massive amount of heat is generated at the core of the sun as a result of fusion and thermonuclear reactions massive amount of heat has a big amount of heat is generated at the core of the sun okay so as a result of fusion and thermonuclear reactions okay so the temperature of the center of the sun is about 15 million celsius while the surface temperature is about 6000 celsius that much the water boils at 100 degrees so just can you imagine this temperature shall we reach no we will be just like charcoal no if we reach there before we reach several important facts about the sun na given below it holds 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system of the substances that belong to the solar whole system but they it holds because of its gravitational force it extend is 109 times of the diameter of the earth that much really big the diameter is 1.4 million kilometers very big so its source of energy it's a source of energy and it provides energy and heat to all planets in the solar system 
not only to the earth for all planets in the solar system the sun is providing energy solar storms occur on the surface of the sun and such occasions flame would burst on out of from the sun here yeah, just like in the volcano likewise putte that much it's uh, just like a fireball no it's just like just as a sun fireball so there are so, so there is we can see here there are solar storms occur on the surface of the sun and the sun revolves around it on axis time taken for one rotation is 20.25.4 earth days the sun revolves around it on axis the time taken for one rotation is 25.4 earth days now here putala name the types of celestial bodies that belong into the solar system you know explain how planets and stars differ from each other i explain write four specific feature of sun you know prepare an article for wallpaper about the sun using information from books newspaper magazines and the internet okay shall we go to the planets planets are the spherical object that are moving on orbits around the sun are called planets put the orbits here can you see these planets jupiter saturn uranus neptune and they are inner planet and outer planets are there so they have own way okay own way we are calling axis okay these are the spherical objects those are moving on orbits around the sun are called planets this is the definition of the planet the solar system consists of eight main planets they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so between mars and jupiter there is a belt of asteroids planets have been divided into two categories as inner planets and outer planets this is the putte asteroid belt okay these planet before the asteroid belt these four planets are called as inner planets after the asteroid belts these four planets are coming and the outer planets before inner planets after the asteroid belt outer planets okay now you know what are the inner planets and outer planets inner planets the planets located between the sun and the belt of asteroids are known as inner planets they are composed of rocks made up of silicate and metal materials underline this or highlight this these inner planets are composed of silicate and metal materials mercury venus earth mars belong into category of inner planets let's go to outer planets the planets located out of the belt of asteroids are known as outer planets jupiter saturn uranus and neptune belong to this category they are basically gaseous in composition especially hydrogen and helium these outer planets are gaseous in composition while these inner planets are composed of silicate and metal materials okay okay putala next day we'll meet with these kind of planets see you soon